final word on CNN Philippines. The first globally accredited cyber school in the Philippines has just opened. The cyber school DEFCON seeks to train both a government and private sector in cybersecurity. Joining us now for more are cyber school founder and director Tatu Amsili and Brigadier General Rami Efrati. Efrati was a former head of the civilian division of the Israel National Cyber Bureau. Now, Rami, let's start with you first. This is, I understand, a collaboration between the Philippine government and the Israeli government. Now, uh, how can uh, Israel share more of its uh, cybersecurity knowledge to the Philippines? Let me start by saying shalom, which is the most important word in my country. Shalom. Magandang gabi. And uh, yes, cyber is, uh, is a big issue. And cyber is a hope. It's a hope because uh, when we are dealing with uh, cyber security, we are giving hope to thousands and thousands of people, including, of course, in the Philippines, who will join this uh, journey in order to make this country, the Philippines, uh, much more advanced. And according to uh, the SONA yesterday, with mm -hmm. President Marcos, who said that the country is going to be fully digitized and the Internet is going to take a very important place, cyber is going to walk side by side together with the digitization and the internet in order to make sure that everything which is being done is going to be done properly and make sure that everything is secured. Mm -hmm. So we bring the Israeli um, experience. We are ready to share this experience together with the Philippines in order to make Philippines one of the leading countries in this region uh, to protect itself. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned uh, the sauna and the president, yes, indeed, he made a number of pronouncements on uh, digital transformation. Now, Tattoo, do you think the country is ready and how can it better protect itself against uh, cyber threats or cyber security threats? Uh, first, we actually, the readiness, it's a process. Uh, the good things now is the president going to the right direction. This is the time now then to do modernization because this is the direction all over the world and this is the way of controlling and have a better a, a facility on the government side. Now, since the direction of the president is just starting, the best way is to do also in parallel the whole procedure for a good cyber technology who will follow. Uh, as you see, uh, even if I will compare during the last two years with the COVID, uh, many things move to the online, to digital. Mm -hmm. Uh, we was technically on lockdown home and move very fast on the digital. What happened, it's the business sector, it's moving very fast, but the cybersecurity, it's not always on the same or in parallel moving together. We have to keep up. Yes, and this is why we see recently a lot of issue, hacking and any problem because of that. But this is something that, of course, it can be built properly, and I'm sure the president is taking care of that as well to build it properly and to have the cybersecurity based in parallel. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us, is there um, how many uh, government agencies and um, companies from the private sector, uh, how many have signed up already for a cyber school? Okay, so first we're still on the process of introduction, still the cyber security and to show to everyone the importance of cyber security and how it's with us technically. life on the day to day and uh, today it's not an option to have cyber security with us but it's a must so a lot of a uh, private company already approach us uh, we already starting very soon the first uh, course with Deloitte Philippines mm -hmm. who will start to send us uh, people for training we also have a very interesting and long conversation with uh, Mr. Ramon Ang from a group of San Miguel group of company who also show a lot of interest on cyber security and of course also understand the threat and how we need to prepare for that. When it comes to the government, we visited a lot of agency during uh, the past uh, two weeks and even though before, and we get a lot of support also coming from that. Uh, we're working also in parallel with the DICT uh, secretary, Mr. Uy, to also assist and to guide us on how to start properly and how to improve and to build actually a layer of cyber uh, analyst mm -hmm. inside the government to protect again all those directions coming from the president. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'd like to get the thoughts of uh, Rami here. Um, I understand cyber education, of, uh, especially cyber school, is based on uh, Israeli Defense Forces military methodologies. Can you tell us more about that and how can the ordinary Filipino better protect himself or herself from cyber threats? I think uh, President Marcos' uh, message that you're starting now dealing with digitization is the right time to work hand to hand together also on the cyber. And unfortunately in this country, not in, in my, like in Israel, you have a lack of thousands of people who needs to deal with cyber security in the government, in the private business, in this, all the other sectors. So the idea is that we brought with us the experience of teaching cyber in Israel. We are teaching cyber in Israel from the age roughly of 10 not in order yeah. to make the young gentleman uh, hacking into his uh, mother's uh, e-wallet, but in order to create awareness. Awareness is a very important word. It's a culture. When you start to teach awareness, you're going up today to up to a PhD in, in, in cybersecurity. So uh, the need to teach cyber is something very basic. Nobody would like to have in the government people coming from overseas. You would like to have your own people, most of it. The important thing is that people in Philippines who will learn and deal with cybersecurity had a better choice. They will get a better salary and they will stay in the Philippines. They will not have to go abroad in order to uh, find new business. And in our meetings, and we had many meetings here with very uh, talented people, and especially with Secretary uh, Ivan Ui from DICT, we found out that the First of all, the people are admitting we don't understand cyber. That's fine. You don't find it in every place. At the same time, they say we would like to take the knowledge out of the Israelis because in Israel it is already a culture. Mm -hmm. We have the experience and we are going to share this experience from Israel on all levels. Starting, by the way, not even from the lowest level, but even to explain the top levels, mm -hmm. even the senators, even the, uh, the, uh, the, the main people in the court, and then going down and train the people, certify them to work in this business. And this is a big yes. choice and this is an amazing message. Mm -hmm. Slowly but surely, yes, advances in technology should be taught at an early age. Now, Tatu, um, I want to ask you about the sauna again because uh, President Marcus touched on many aspects. One of them is digitalization now um, it can play a key role uh, such as in, in e-governance education and businesses where do you see the country now the philippines in that aspect it's actually uh, right now it's on process already uh, the code again technology it's moving and uh, it's not something <coughs> then you know we can stop and to do it right now it's the right way again uh, the direction of the government is to take the direction of the uh, that to move and to uh, how to say that to uh, improve the education to focus again on the kids starting early age to provide them online education as we see during the COVID and things to, to be ready in case if something like that happen so they can be ready uh, on term of the e-governance same uh, today everything is moving to the online business so it's very important again to be there and to go to that direction mm -hmm. all right but uh, final question for you tattoo um, cyber school said there is a, and i quote cyber security talent shortage and skills gap in the philippines now could you explain this to us and how should we address this sure and first it's not only in the philippines but it's all over the world uh, today there is a shortage of four to five million people in this industry. 50% of it, it's in Asia. So now the way of addressing it, it's education. We really need to build and to provide them a platform when they can go and learn and become professional on that field. We really need to focus on that and to build actually the specific people to be part of the cyber uh, analyst in the market because this is part of the, the private sector in the future to assist the government. And this is something, again, then it's not an option anymore. It's really a must to have in the country. And this is why we provide this platform and hopefully be able to grow and to elevate the skill of those people. Building bridges of innovation. And that is because of collaboration between sure. Israel 
and the Philippines. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us here in the studio. Cyber School founder and director, Tattoo Amsili, and Israeli cyber expert, Rami Efrati. Thank you. Thank you.